do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. So I want to do a um, proof of concept video that's using UDP BD server in a Linux environment. And rather than install like a second OS on my desktop computer here that's running Windows 11, I decided to do it you know, via a virtual machine. And for those who want to follow along real quick, let me give you some real, real quick tips that worked on my end because a lot of my uh, frustration early on was trying to make the virtual machine work with the UDP BD server with the Linux environment and the network settings. And I found some things that work for me. So hopefully that might help someone else in the future. So basically Windows 11, could be Windows 10, whatever, the firewall has um, the virtual machine enabled or allowed basically. And then let me show you my network connections just real quick. So under network connections, um, I do have my PS2 and my desktop computer connected to a router. I think that's the simplest way. But of course, if you don't want to do that, if you want to have like a direct cable between the PS2 and your computer, you can do that. But uh, you're gonna have to get a little bit more technical because you're gonna have to sign a static IP address with your PC uh, under the Linux environment. So that's um, something outside of this particular video but just a FYI for those who want to go down that route. So basically under Windows, I went to properties and I go to TCP, IPv4, all oh, this is just default. There's no IP address static set. Same thing for the virtual box adapter. You go to here, properties, everything is just, you know, defaults basically. And then um, my computer's not connected to Wi-Fi at the moment because it's connected to the router. That's right here in my room for testing purposes, which has an ethernet cable for also the internet. Now I'll throw a picture on the screen here. Soon that shows the, my basic router setup when my PS2 and my computer connected. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is run, get my virtual box. Here we go. I'm using Mint OS. It's just a, uh, you could really use any Linux operating system. But I chose to use Mint just to play around with it and learn more about it. Before I actually start the virtual machine here, under settings, one thing that really helped me on my end for troubleshooting purposes in the beginning was um, make sure under your network adapter. So let's assume you're doing the file method using a, you know, direct cable or router method, you know, through ethernet, basically make sure you say attach to bridge adapter and then select the ethernet port on your computer or on your motherboard. So in my case, it's this guy. So I say, okay, and let's go ahead and start the virtual machine. So another tip I will have to say is inside the virtual machine, I ended up disabling the firewall for the program. Otherwise I couldn't get the UDP BD server to recognize the PS2 IP address basically. But if you're more tech savvy and if you want to enable the firewall in your Linux environment and allow the program through, by all means, go ahead and do it. I took the easy button out and I just uh, basically disabled the firewall of my Linux operating system inside the virtual machine. But I don't really care too much for this example purposes because I'm not really using the Linux for connecting to the internet and and plus, you know, it's, it's sort of sandbox inside a virtual machine. So if anything bad were to happen, quote, you know, air quotes, um, I'm not too concerned about it. So anyways, what I'm going to do is we're inside the virtual machine and let me go to, um, this is how it works. So let's say that you went to the website, the GitHub, you downloaded the zip file and I'll have a link in the video description where you can get the file. So let's say that you already got the file and I'll do this in real time here. So here's the zip file. So I took the easy way out, it's basically right click and say extract here within the Mint OS operating system. So I made a folder here, inside the folder, you say uh, right click, go open in terminal. And I'm a big newbie, I'm not I'm not a Linux guru by all means. I'm just trying to do the bare bones basics, right? Just to get this going. So hopefully this video will help someone out in the future if you wanna follow along. But you go open in terminal and what you wanna do is just say make and the make will basically make this new file for you, which is this executable, the UDP BD dash server. So next thing you want to do is plug in your USB thumb drive. It has your PS2 games and everything is set up correctly. And this is, you know, we have a lot of videos on the channel that talks about how to do this. But in my case, I have a DVD folder. Under the DVD folder, I have one example game today, which is going to be the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Okay, so when you're inside the Linux environment, the next one of the things you want to do is figure out what is the the drive letter assignment, so to speak, for your particular USB drive. So uh, just a command you can type, uh, you can type, excuse me. I'm gonna take a shortcut here and go through my history. Is It is LSBLK. So when you type that in and press enter, we see that my eight gigabyte um, USB drive is under this SDB um, naming. I'll just call it for lack of a better description for a moment. So this is the command line if you wanna type in. So you wanna type in, um, here you go. So you're gonna type in, let me just extract this out a little bit. 
make it a little bit wider to make it easier to see. So this is command prompt. So based upon some tips I learned from the Discord server, thanks guys. Uh, this is what you want to do. So you do sudo space dot forward slash UDP BD dash server space forward slash dev forward slash SDB. Uh, not SDB one or two or whatever, just, just SDB, right? And you press enter. Now you type in your password for your account. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we get this, right? So this is a good sign, so to speak. And let's go ahead and turn my game capture for the PS2. And I think I'm good with that size for now. So this also assumes you have OPL on your PS2 that is UDP BD server compatible. So here it is, let's go ahead and run it. And if everything is working great, if your network settings are set up great, no conflicts, um, then what's gonna happen momentarily is in the, in the terminal, it will automatically start reading these commands or data, or whatever you want to describe it. I'm not even sure myself, but basically you'll see some outputs here in the terminal. So this is a good sign. And we see that my game, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2, is very recognized in OPL. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and start the game. Let me turn on. Um, the game music will show up a little bit here momentarily. But I will say that the gameplay is awesome. I'm not experiencing any lag. At least with the limited games I've tried so far with the UDP BD server method. Now, technically, could you do this in Windows? Yes, you could. There's a different way of running the UDP BD server, but I didn't see any videos on YouTube at the moment, at the time of this video recording, about the Linux environment and PS2, and we all know how much the PS2 is awesome, so I thought it'd be cool to just do a quick video on this, and I did for my own personal benefit. I did figure out how to do the same thing on the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, if anybody knows how to use a router and that allows you to load the UDP BD server on a router, for example, by all means let me know. I think that'd be an awesome video. But I don't know how to do it. But I know it is possible. Because I saw a video, but it doesn't have good instructions how to do it. So anyways, if anybody has success with that, let's team up and um, make some great content together. So anyways, here we see that the game is working fine. Um, and you know that we see some traffic here in the terminal. And... Um, so basically what we got going on, if you haven't figured out already, is we got the UDP BD server, Linux environment, PC, desktop, uh, PS2 connected to the router, and the server is um, being able to host the game, see the game from my USB thumb drive, and uh, have the PS2 be able to access it basically. And uh, that's all it is. So that's how you have a lot of good times using this particular method. So I know uh, if I, you know, if that seemed a little bit too fast for you guys, I do apologize. It wasn't really made to be like a full-blown slowdown tutorial per se. But at least you get the gist of it. And if you guys want to see like different other Linux operating systems just to get a feel of how things work, or uh, you know, a Raspberry Pi video in the future, I could definitely take a look into that as well. So that's today's video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.